of you ever felt like quitting? Whether it's quitting a job, quitting a sport or occupation, quitting your Com 115 class. <laughs> Okay, so about a little bit, but we have all this at some point in our life and we felt like giving up. But that's okay. My goal today is to inspire you all to stay motivated even when you feel like throwing in the towel. By first defining the meaning of motivation, then evaluating how negative your life can be without it, and finally I'll give you two helpful tips that can help you stay motivated through your college courses. I believe that by encouraging you all to stay motivated, I'm helping the pillars of ethical leadership and cultural competence here in Missouri State. By inspiring our leaders to stay motivated in the positions that they hold and also encouraging our community to know why it's so important to know your motivation. So you remember a couple seconds ago when I said I wanted to quit my Con 115 class? Well, that was me a month and a half ago. I walked into Ms. Butcher's office, I said, I am done, I quit, I give up. And so for our next presentation, I want the semester to be over with. So I chose an easy topic, motivation. But after doing a lot of research on it, I found out that it's really important to have. My favorite motivational, inspirational poem is by Maya Angelou. And still I rise in 1970, 1978. I like the quote to Sansa, the Sansa that says, just like the moons and the suns, the certainty of tides, just like hope springing high, still I rise. When I say this to myself, I'm reminded that I can go through the challenges that life throws my way as long as I know my motivation. So today, I will first start off by defining the meaning of motivation, then by evaluating how negative your life can be without it, and I'll give you two helpful tips to help you stay motivated through your college courses. Before you can take action on something, it's important to know the meaning of it. According to Merriam-Webster in 2018, motivation means a motivating force, stimulus, influence, incentive, or drive. What is your motivating force? Who inspires you to get up every morning? What is your incentive or a drive? I know it may sound silly to question yourself, but it's important that you know what motivation means to you. Now that I gave you the definition of it, I'll now talk about why it's so important in our day-to-day -day lives. According to a scholarly magazine by Don Charges FG in 2018, motivation determines the specific goals towards which people strive. Thus, it affects the choices that we make. So it's true, your level of motivation will determine whether you meet the goals that you have planned in your life. I'll talk about another important aspect of motivation, your self-determination theory. According to Dira Vortex, page 62, in June 2018, self-determination as a macro theory of human motivation means or addresses such basic issues such as personality development, universal psychological needs, energy, and aspirations. There are so many important aspects to your motivation, it's important that you know what motivation means to you. Now I'll go over how negative life can be without motivation. Motiv life without motivation to me, it's like drinking a watered down Sprite without the bits. And if you ever had a watered down soda, I know you know what I'm talking about. Basically life is bland and flat without determination. My junior and senior year of high school was the most amazing time of my life, but also the most challenging. I didn't know who or what I wanted to be and I was losing my motivation. The only motivation that got me through high school was of course looking forward to graduation. However, I am proud to say that I graduated in the pouring down rain dripping wet in the midst of a thunderstorm. So after that experience, I was more than ready for college, but nobody told me how stressed out I would be. Fun and important fact to my college students, do not procrastinate. According to Havar, 87% of student, college students felt overwhelmed with the amount of responsibilities that they have. I got that from American College Health Association in 2018 on an article by Havar, page 263, in June 2018. So if you feel stressed out, I'm letting you know that you're not alone. I felt alone here in Missouri State. I didn't know what I wanted to be. I don't have a major. I was getting lost and behind. I told my teacher I wanted to quit. And most importantly, I was losing my motivation. But that's when I remember a book my mother read to me when I was younger. It's called The Little Blue Engine That Could by Patty Weiker in 1930. In the book, she talks about how the little blue engine wasn't built to carry things over the mountain. But the little blue engine said to herself, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And with the support and encouragement from others, she successfully made it over the mountain. 
what I'm trying to say is that sometimes we have to be political engine to just believe that they can and surround ourselves by people who believe that we can as well. I'll now give you two helpful tips that can help you stay motivated in your college courses. One thing I had to learn was my self-efficiency. According to everyone on page 62 in June 2018, self-efficiency is a belief in his or own his or her own skills to achieve certain things. I had to think, should I watch Netflix all night before my 8 a.m.? Or should I go to sleep at a proper time so I can attain the information that will be handed to me the next morning? What is your self-efficiency? Then, it's really hard to stay motivated in a class when you keep getting bad grades. So, according to O'Connor, page 56, in the fall of 2018, he said, motivation to learn is one of the most important indicators to a student's success. I was getting so unmotivated, you keep getting F's and D's, you eventually just want to drop out of the class. But I had to go talk to my professors and see if it's able for what I can do to improve. I also had to sing this little song to myself. I call it the great song, and I will share it with you all. I will fly my way to a D. I will dig my way to a C. I will see my way to a B. I will bounce my way to an A and add my way to my degree. I'm honored to share that with you all today. So when you feel like <laughs> when you feel like you want to give up, keep going. Don't equivalent F as to failure as to drop out. Equivalent F as to flying. I've always been told that once you hit rock bottom, the only way to go is up, right? Stay positive throughout your college courses because we all need to graduate from Missouri State. I want to ask you all one final question. What is your motivation? As, we, as I've told you multiple times, life is too short to be a bland, flat soda. So go after what you believe in and find out what motivation means to you. I asked you all earlier, if you've ever felt like quitting, we all have wanted to give up at some point of our life. As long as you know your motivation and can get back on your two feet, that's all that matters. I first define motivation. Not only did I define it, I asked you, what does it mean to you? Then I went over how negative your life can be without it and how stressed out we all feel. But sometimes we need to be a little blue engine that could and just say, I think I can, think I can, think I can. And finally, you accomplish it. My third point was two helpful methods that can help you stay motivated through your college courses. Know your self-efficiency. Should have played a video game online, like I should have studied, you know? And then I went over the great song, and I hope that you all will share that with your loved ones. I want to leave you all with one thing. Just like the moons and the suns, with the certainty of tides, just like hope springing high, still you'll rise. Thank you.